The audio drama Dooku Jedi Lost gave us our best canon look at a very mysterious character first mentioned in Attack of the Clones, sifo -Dyas. His story was told at least a little bit in The Clone Wars, but the only time we've actually seen him was just a force-powered vision of a maniac. So today I'm going to run through what we now know about the character and his motivations, and I'll compare it to what we knew in Star Wars Legends. There will be some spoilers for the audio drama ahead. sifo was the son of a fisherman from the planet Menashe. He was brought to Coruscant as a child when he was discovered to be Force-sensitive, and he became close friends with Dooku. They grew up together, and Sifo developed a penchant for mischief. He became interested in an ancient Padawan named Teradine, who was actually kicked out of the Jedi Order long ago for being a troublemaker. Through research in Teradine, Sifo found access to the Jedi Order's Bogan, or Dark Side, collection of relics, and he broke into it with Dooku, where they were caught and reprimanded. Perhaps it was his curiosity that led to his apprenticeship with Lean Kustana. She accepted him as her Padawan, and it was their mission to find and study ancient Sith relics. They worked well together, but it quickly became clear that sifo had the quote-unquote gift of foresight. His visions of the future took a mental toll on him, and the Jedi Council was wary to take any action on what he saw. On at least one occasion, lives were lost because the Council did not respond quickly enough to one of his visions. Kostana caught word of the Citadel on Lola Sayu opening some sort of rehabilitation facility for Jedi who experienced visions of the future. She became determined to keep her Padawan out of that prison, so sifo visions were not reported on. However, we, along with Dooku, experienced the vision of the future that I believe led Sifo to eventually commission the clone army from Kamino. They saw multiple possible futures of widespread war, including one where the Jedi Order takes control of the Republic by force. The rest of his story was told in the Clone Wars. He was eventually part of the Jedi Council, where he began urging his peers to prepare for the coming war. They removed him from their ranks, and so he placed the order for the clones himself. Shortly thereafter, he was sent on a secret mission by Chancellor Valorum to deal with the Pike Syndicate, but sifo old friend Dooku ordered the Pikes to murder him. With his death, Dooku and his master Darth Sidious were able to take control of the clones. The Legends version of his story isn't much different because, again, there just isn't a whole lot about him. But he does appear a handful of times in the Darth Plagueis book where he is again shown to be close with Dooku. He is also in contact with Plagueis himself, or at least his public persona, Higo Damask. The drive to create the clone army was more of a manipulation by the Sith, and his visions of the Force seemed less straightforward. He was simply aware that dark times were ahead. He still made the order for the clone army, and he was still murdered at the order of his fallen friend Dooku. Although his body was preserved and the Separatists transfused his blood into General Grievous in a failed attempt to make the cyborg Force-sensitive. But that's pretty much all we know about sifo right now. Dooku Jedi Lost tells us more about the kind of person he was, and I think it makes the eventual betrayal of Dooku even more heartbreaking knowing they were childhood friends. Since it's an audio drama, you can pick it up anywhere audiobooks are sold. If you're interested in picking it up for free, I'd recommend signing up for a 30-day trial of Audible. Go to www.audibletrial.com slash Star Wars Explained, or click on the link in the description, sign up for a free trial, and you'll get a credit for one audiobook, and you can use that right away on Dooku Jedi Lost. Or get any number of Star Wars books, or get any book you want. The point is, you'll get a free audiobook, and you'll be supporting the channel when you do. But that's it for today. If you haven't already, please like this video, subscribe to the channel, follow us on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook, and consider checking out our Patreon page. As always, thanks for watching, and may the Force be with you.